Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest. I hope you guys are enjoying my series on blogging lately. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Bluehost versus HostGator for your hosting plans. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching on how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button for my latest videos. So let's just get right into it. So in my previous video, we talked all about domains, hosting, WordPress, so you guys should understand what hosting really is. So it's very important for you to choose a good hosting plan in order to sort of have a secure website as well as have a website that runs quickly. Another thing is customer support and pricing. These are things that we need to kind of talk about to understand which hosting plan is better. All right, let's just get right into it. So first, let's talk about pricing. I'm all about that good value, right? So pricing is very important and let's just go right into a screen share. All right, guys, now we are sharing screens. We are on the HostGator website as well as the Bluehost website and we're gonna compare the pricing first of all. I would basically look at the basic plan and plus plan of Bluehost as well as the hatchling plan and the baby plan of HostGator. And the reason is I compared the two before in my previous video about basically hosting just one domain versus unlimited domains. I would say those are the two that you're gonna be considering when you're picking your hosting plan. And it really depends on if you're gonna do a lot of domains or just one domain. If you're gonna host multiple websites, I would choose the baby plan or the plus plan on Bluehost. Now, if you look at the pricing, this is your discount price that you're gonna get. If you want the discount price, you should use DNQ60 promo code for HostGator and I'll link that that below. Um, if you use my link, I do get a commission at no extra cost to you. It will just support my channel and let me kind of provide that value for you guys. I hope you guys are getting a lot of value from, you know, my tutorials. But basically, the hatchling plan lets you do one domain and the basic plan is the same thing, right? As you can see, it costs less on the hatchling plan than the basic plan on Bluehost. Now you can see it has a free SSL on both sides, free domain included. So I've heard a lot of review videos, so I did my research uh, before I made this video about, you know, HostGator doesn't have a free domain included. Well, it actually does. I don't know what you're all talking about. Maybe HostGator added this later, so maybe that's why you guys don't have that in your reviews, but HostGator does give you a free domain. Regardless, I always use Namecheap anyway for my domains, so I don't really use like HostGator's thing for it. They both include that stuff, but actually HostGator is a lot cheaper. Again, this is the discount price. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, if I select both of these, I'm gonna skip the domain setup. This price is only if you purchase three months. Same thing with HostGator and Bluehost. This $3.95 as well as this $2.75 is only applied when you purchase three years of the hosting plans. After three years, the pricing will change. This will return to $250 on HostGator and this will return to basically $7.99 times 36. Overall, HostGator is cheaper for both the basic plan and the unlimited domain plans. You can compare this, obviously $275 395 is cheaper than 395 and 595 and after the discount HostGator is still cheaper after the three years are up if you do the hatchling plan at 695 per month at the regular price versus the 799 for the basic plan and then if you do the baby plan it's 995 per month versus the 1099 per month on Bluehost so obviously it's cheaper on HostGator in this category HostGator wins <laughs> All right, the next thing I wanna note is that Bluehost is one of the recommended WordPress web hosting platforms. HostGator is not on here, which is very interesting. I don't know if this affects anything, but that could be something you think about when you choose your hosting plans. So it is one of the official WordPress web hosting platforms and HostGator is not one of them. So in this category, I guess Bluehost wins. All right, now let's talk about speed. So I don't really have too much to show on this. I have done some research. It looks like both Bluehost and HostGator have about a tie when it comes to speed. So I've seen some articles on when you loaded two different websites with the two different hosts things but everything the same every the themes the same the pictures and the text all the same the the load speed was the same for both HostGator and Bluehost so it's a tie between uh, Bluehost and HostGator when it comes to speed and then when it comes to security I already talked about this earlier but basically they both include a free SSL certificate one thing I did like about HostGator is that they allow this free WordPress cPanel website transfer and it looks like 
Bluehost costs money to do that. So let me show you guys. It costs $150 to make your transition with Bluehost. So in this category, HostGator wins. Um, HostGator is free for the transfer versus Bluehost from what I've seen on articles as well. Another important thing is customer support and I won't need a screen share too much on this, but basically I have had no problem with HostGator support. They've been really amazing. Always quick to respond. They always handle basically my inquiries. The one thing is the affiliate program Program support has not been as good for me, but that doesn't really matter to you at all, right? The affiliate program is a totally separate thing. When it comes to HostGator support versus Bluehost support, I can't really comment too much because I don't have Bluehost, but HostGator has been amazing. And I actually looked at some reviews and people have commented that HostGator's customer service is even better than Bluehost. So let's actually, let me show you guys what I mean by the comparison between the two. Here's the thing, when I do my research, my little like non-tech savvy research on the two different ones, Basically, there's a lot of mixed reviews. I'm gonna open the first three, okay? When it comes to Bluehost versus HostGator, which I've Googled. Okay, I think on this first one, they say Bluehost wins. Now on the second one, they say HostGator wins. See, eight points. <laughs> and then the third piece, they say HostGator wins. If you keep going down, it's just kind of like a tie. I feel like they both, um, you know, people say this is better and that's better. And you know what? I think they're both pretty level. Both of these that advocate HostGator say that their customer support is even better with HostGator and I really value that. I really think that like being able to speak with someone on support really matters for me. And also I would say price and value, even though they don't mention it here, HostGator is cheaper than Bluehost. What they say on this web article, they say that the page speed is better with Bluehost. I don't know about that. I've seen other articles and videos that say that they're basically a tie. Out of all this information, I ultimately think HostGator is a little bit better, but that's kind of a biased opinion. I don't have Bluehost, so can I say that really? I don't know. I, I would say the biggest factor I can tell from all of this research is like obviously HostGator's pricing is better. I can see it right there. But besides that, I would say like they're pretty similar. You can't really go wrong with either one of them based on my research. Some people recommend HostGator, some people recommend Bluehost. But yeah, I personally use HostGator. I personally think uh, HostGator has been great for my needs. I've never had an issue with it. I use their customer support and it's been amazing for me. I haven't had a problem with it. So this is definitely the newbie kind of review and comparison between the two, but I think this is all you really need to know about it when you compare the two as a beginner blogger. So hope you guys like this video. If you guys wanna try out HostGator, make sure to use my link down there or Bluehost. Either one, I'm okay with it. I have links for both of them. So try them in my links below hope you guys like this video if you guys want more information on blogging and how to be successful on blogging we are launching a course called blog launch profit and I'll link that as well and get on the wait list okay get on the wait list so that you can get notified of my launch and I will include a special discount for all of you guys who sign up for the wait list for my course launch hope you guys like this video make sure to comment below if this was helpful subscribe hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos and I'll see you guys in the next one